Good morning, here is today's prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, You are the Almighty One. Your Holy Word tells me. The natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. But he who is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is rightly judged by no one. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 14 to 15 Please give me spiritual discernment through the power of your Holy Spirit within me and through my reading of your Holy Word. For the Word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit, and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hebrews 4 verse 12 As I pray and read your word, and as I rely on your guidance each day, I pray that my eyes will see, that my heart will feel, that my ears will hear, and that my mind will comprehend what you are teaching me. Please help me to discern what is of your spirit, what is good and what is true. Please protect me from the evil one and his traps. Please keep my family and loved ones safe from all harm. And please direct my paths today. Proverbs 3 verse 6 I pray these things in the wonderful name of my Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Jesus, the Son of God with flaming eyes and feet like brass. And to the angel of the church in Thyatira write. These things says the Son of God. Who has eyes like a flame of fire. And his feet like fine brass. Revelation 2 verse 18. Jesus is the Son of God, who is the judge of all humanity, of both believers and unbelievers. He judges all sin the same. Your sin was judged in the past at Calvary the unsaved will be judged in the future. No one can hide from his flaming eyes of judgment, no one can run from his brass feet of judgment. The Son of God gave himself for sin, but the unsaved won't come to him for forgiveness, so they will meet him in judgment. Also, the saved that keep on sinning will be judged by the one with flaming eyes. O oh, Son of God, I know I am forgiven, but sometimes I sin ignorantly. Forgive me now by your blood. Ephesians 1 verse 7, 1 John 1 verse 9 The Son of God with flaming eyes and feet like brass will see and understand the motives of all believers. You cannot hide from him the fleshly sin of fornication or the doctrinal sin of heresy. He has all-seeing eyes, so he knows all about the iniquity in your life. Jesus has feet that run quickly to judge sin, you cannot get away with anything. You must deal with your sin before Jesus judges it. Lord, daily I come to you, searching my heart for hidden sin. I confess my sin, forgive me. I repent and commit myself to live a godly life, cleanse me. I want to live a blameless life, help me. Give me wisdom to recognize temptation in my life, and give me strength to overcome it. I want to please you. Amen. Go deeper, Revelation 2 verses 18 to 29. Deal with your sin, because Jesus knows about it. Tomorrow, Jesus, the Son of Abraham. Revelation 2 verses 18 to 29 New International Version to the church in Thyatira. 18. To the angel of the church in Thyatira write. These are the words of the Son of God, whose eyes are like blazing fire and whose feet are like burnished bronze. 19. I know your deeds, your love and faith, your service and perseverance, and that you are now doing more than you did at first. 20. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel, who calls herself a prophet, by her teaching she misleads my servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. 21. I have given her time to repent of her immorality, but she is unwilling. 
22 So I will cast her on a bed of suffering, and I will make those who commit adultery with her suffer intensely, unless they repent of her ways. 23 I will strike her children dead. Then all the churches will know that I am he who searches hearts and minds, and I will repay each of you according to your deeds. 24 Now I say to the rest of you in Thyatira, to you who do not hold to her teaching and have not learned Satan's so-called deep secrets, I will not impose any other burden on you. 25 Except to hold on to what you have until I come. 26 To the one who is victorious and does my will to the end, I will give authority over the nations, 27 that one, will rule them with an iron scepter and will dash them to pieces like pottery, A. Eh? Just as I have received authority from my father. 28 I will also give that one the morning star. 29 Whoever has ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches.